What is good everyone? Welcome to this video. I'm Charlie from Conscious Creation and in this video I would like to share with you how you can go about and start activating that of your dormant DNA. So I'm not a scientist, I've just pieced this information together, it really resonates with me and I have a strong urge to share it with you. So that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start off talking about solar flares. I talk about this a bit more in my video, That of the Great Awakening. But these big bursts of energy that come from the sun, maneuver through space and hit our planet and have an effect on us. Now, there was a chap called Paul Leviler in 1993 who came up with something called the Galactic Superwave Theory. So this is basically due to certain astrological alignments that are taking place in our solar system at the moment, is our central sun is giving off these bursts of energy. And from the central sun, these bursts or waves of energy are making their way through space, hitting our sun, which is increasing the intensity and the frequency of the solar flares that it is giving off. Now, in NASA's most recent findings, this is one of the main reasons to that of global warming, because it's not just our planet that is heating up, but all the planets in our solar system are actually heating up because of this. Our planet also has something called an electromagnetic field encompassing it. And the purpose of this electromagnetic field is to help protect and shield us from the radiation from our sun. Now to keep this electromagnetic field strong, there's something called a magnetic north pole and a magnetic south pole that are placed over the physical north and the physical south pole. And it helps maintain a strong electromagnetic field. But for quite a bit of time now, the magnetic north pole and the magnetic south pole has been shifting quite a lot and because of this we have been getting a weakened electromagnetic field so in combination with these stronger waves of energy from our sun and a weaker field we are getting bombarded and saturated with this heavier energy and it is having an effect on us there's a really good documentary called solar shift which talks about how this energy is actually affecting our human consciousness so i'm going to share with you now something called synchrotron radiation and what is that that is electromagnetic radiation and this is when charged particles get accelerated enough it converts more and more into this synchrotron radiation so due to the bursts of energy from our central sun because of these astrological alignments and our sun getting this extra energy is these, these particles are getting more accelerated and creating more of this synchrotron radiation. Now, the interesting thing about this radiation is that it can pass through matter, including that of human beings. I feel something. A slight tingle in my fingers. I think it's affecting me. Yeah. Scientists have also come to the conclusion that this synchrotron radiation is one of the keys to animals mutating over the past thousands and thousands of years. But the question is, can it affect us as humans? So there's a chap called Bruce Lipton who wrote the book, The Biology of Belief. And he did a lecture a little while ago talking about the effects of how our cell behaves depending on the information that it receives. And this is going to tie in with that of our dormant DNA and that of this synchrotron radiation so he explains if you obviously if you want to know more information about this i recommend going and watching his lecture he goes into much more detail than i do and i'm just giving it in layman terms but he explains that we have the cell and from the cell comes the protein the protein sticks out of the cell and they act like that of antennas so it absorbs information through the antenna into the cell and the cell will behave on the information that it receives. It's a bit like a TV. If you've got a TV that's got antennas sticking out of it, depending on the information that comes through those antennas will determine what you see on the screen. So for example, we have histamine, that's for an emergency response in your body. We have 
glucose, that's for sugar, we have insulin for your metabolic pathways. We have hundreds and hundreds of these receptors around our body and they're like that of the five senses. They absorb and process information. But the really interesting thing is, is that we have one receptor that is designed specifically to absorb synchrotron radiation. And if this synchrotron radiation manages to get into the cell properly, it starts to switch on certain amino acids and can help activate parts of our dormant DNA. It's the proteins, the proteins that we we're talking about that are capable of responding to the signal and, and then activating a behavior. So when I look at the surface of the cell, Actually, instead of being smooth, there are all these structures like antennas sticking up all over the surface and proteins built into the membrane. And that these proteins read the environment and convert that environmental signal into a behavior. Another thing that he also talks about in his lecture is that not any information can go down the protein and into the cell. It works a bit like a key to a lock. So it has to be the right key into the right lock. So in this case, the protein has to be sticking upright from the cell in order to absorb this synchrotron radiation. If it's flat, it can't do that. So the question is, how can we make sure that the protein is sticking upright so it can absorb this synchrotron radiation? It's our vibration. If we're in a vibration of fear, the protein is flat. If we're in a vibration of love, the protein is sticking up right. Now we as human beings have seven main energy centers going through our body and they all have different jobs and they also all have different frequencies and energy. So the higher you go up in these energy centers, the faster the frequency. So if we have an image of DNA and we take the frequency of fear, now, when you're in fear, you feel heavy, you feel dense, everything feels like a struggle, like you're trying to walk through the mud, right? So it's a slow frequency. And if we put that over the DNA, we can see that it's got less contact points over the DNA. If we have a frequency of love, because it's much faster, it means we've got more contact points over the DNA for genetic coding, which means more proteins, which means more DNA strands. It's like that of cosmic evolution. So it's really this emotional mastery, our ability to control our state of being that is the key or one of the keys to help activate that of our dormant DNA. Yes, life can be hectic, stuff is always going on and things happen to us that we always don't want to have happen to us. But we always have a choice on how we respond to these things. That is our true free will is our reaction. We can either react out of a place of fear or we can react out of a place of love. So I thank you for watching. I will put a free meditation below that can help you tap more into your heart center and therefore the frequencies of love if you're struggling to do that. Apart from that, peace and take care.